God says, I want you to love, but if anyone causes you to feel less of a human, I want you to pray for them and depart ways from them. It is unhealthy to remain in toxic friendships and relationships. I am with you don't get scared. I love you. Comment, Amen, if you believe it. Isaiah 40 hours 31 minutes. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary, shall walk and not faint. God. That promise I made to you, I am going to fulfill it. I have not forgotten you. Be encouraged. Blessings are coming. Sometimes, God puts you in places alone because he wants you to realize you don't need anyone but him. At the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Consider the fact that maybe God closed that door because he knew you were worth so much more. Sometimes God holds you back until the road is safe and clear to continue. Be thankful. What is meant for you won't pass you by. Dear God, I have lost a lot in my life. Help me to restore what I have lost. Please heal me. I trust in you, God. I love you. You're attracting the best in your life right now. Welcome this new energy. You have exalted my horn like that of a wild ox. Fine oils have been poured on me. 1 John 3:18. Let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. Amen. This world already has too much pain, and it doesn't need more people to voluntarily bring more pain. Bring goodness into this world. You have a voice. I love you. Comment, Amen. God's love is like the ocean, you can see its beginning, but not its end. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Don't forget God when you get what you prayed for. Type Amen. Psalm 27, 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? Amen. And without faith it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. You will show me the path of life, in your presence is fullness of joy, at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Prayer for today. Heavenly Father, thank you for the promise of renewed strength when we wait on you. Teach us to surrender our burdens and worries to your loving hands. Please help us to trust in your unfailing love and soar on wings like eagles. Give us endurance to run the race set before us and the courage to walk through the valleys without fainting. In Jesus' name, Amen. God says, I know that you stress a lot at times. I don't blame you, life can be hard, life can be challenging, and life can overwhelm us at times. However, when you are in a season of trouble, I want you to surrender it all to me. I will take care of you. Dear God, I claim to follow you, but at times I behave as if I don't even know you. 
I'm sorry, because truthfully love you and I know your word is true. Please forgive me, I recognize that I am a sinner and that I have wronged you. I trust you God, and I promise that I will be better. Honor your father and mother. Which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. God says, treat people with love, instead of how they treat you. I never taught you to treat people the way they treat you. Treat them better. The world teaches to treat people the same way they get treated, but that's not the way I roll. I have mercy and I love. I will refresh the weary and satisfy the faint. Because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning, great is your faithfulness. God says, no matter how hard people try to bring you down, you will never go down because I am with you. People do not have control over you unless you give it to them. I love you. Now repent of your sins and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped away. Some things only need to be prayed about and not posted about. God is saying to you today, blessings are coming to you in the form of a new job, a new home, good new relationships, and generational wealth. I declare and speak God's blessings and favor over your life right now. I love you. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up in honor. If you're searching for joy, but not spending time with Jesus, you'll never find him. When you partially surrender to Jesus, you will never fully experience his joy. When you fully surrender to Jesus, you will never partially experience his joy. Searching for worth in the world will always leave you feeling worthless. That's because your worth is found not in the world, but in the one who created both the world and you. Your worth is found in the Word, so stop looking outside of Him. When you mess with sin, sin messes with you. Don't do it. Sin doesn't satisfy, Jesus does. True pleasure is found in obedience to Jesus, not in rebellion of Him. Beauty fades. Beauty fades in people, in places, and in things. But the beautiful name of Jesus will never ever fade away. My hope is not found in people, places, or things. My hope is found in Christ alone. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hands. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. God says, I'll give you three reasons to have hope. 1. I split the seas so Moses can cross. 2. I brought Lazarus back to life. 3. I healed many from leprosy. Have hope, because anything is possible with me. I love you.